632 all new for you this morning. The dangerous practice of getting high by inhaling different things like nail polish or spray paint has a new name. It's now being called chroming. It's the after effect of inhaling metallic paints sprayed on a rag and it leaves a metallic residue on your face. 7 News reporter Derek Hyde spoke with some experts in our region as concern for this is on the rise. The dangerous practice of getting high by inhaling hydrocarbons from everyday household items like hairspray, markers, and nail polish has a new slang term. It's called chroming. What exactly is chroming? What I can tell, there's, there's not really a huge difference between chroming and huffing. It's another name, or a new name I should say, for uh, inhalation abuse. But it's just essentially huffing. It's the same huffing we've we've seen for decades. According to the U.S. Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, this inhaling of dangerous chemicals is on the rise. Data shows the number of children using inhalants has decreased from 2015 to 2022, but those numbers appear to be rising once again. The study found a 10,000 person increase in usage from 2022 to 2023. Putting a new name on it was kind of a means of disguise I think um, if you were to talk to a parent about huffing, most of us know what that is. But um, if you said, do you know what chroming is? Most of us would be completely clueless. That's Ashley Gedra with Kids Escaping Drugs. It's very similar, like an acid trip or LSD or something like that. But both she and Michelle Kaliva from the upstate New York Poison Center tell me this practice can be incredibly dangerous. Oxygen deprivation to the brain, um, long-term use can damage pretty much every organ system in your body. They both tell me the best way to keep your family safe isn't to throw everything away. It's just to teach your kids to be safe too. Prevention and education is, is key. Very dangerous to, to, to mess around with this. If they know the implications, they can make educated decisions for themselves. The Poison Center's helpline is open 24-7 for anybody in need of assistance. Derek Hyde, 7 News, Buffalo.